Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. So we're getting ready to do block number two of our mystery star block of the month. Um, and so this will be the second block for January, so there won't be another video until February. So don't feel like, you know, we're going really fast here. You just do this at your own pace. All these videos will be on my YouTube channel and in Peggy's Quilting Group and in the files, you know, we'll have the directions and all that. So we're going to try to do two a month. <laughs> I don't know when they're going to be able to come out and when I'm going to be able to do them. Um, just simply because of my work schedule, you know, the, I own my own business. And so sometimes I can't sit down and do a video. Anyway, all right, so this insert for number two is the goblet i don't know if you can be able to see that very well it's kind of dark colors there but um that is the uh block that we're making today so let's just jump right into it and get started all right so from your background you're going to need two two and a half by four and a half rectangles two three inch squares cut those diagonally just once to make four triangles for your goblet fabric you're going to need one three by three cut diagonally once to make two triangles, one piece that is three and three eighths by three and three eighths, and then two pieces that are one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So little tiny pieces. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. We'll see how it goes. All right. So I've got all of mine cut. Now I'm using. Um, I've already got my star points also for this done. So you know I'll be able to complete the block. Um, and get that finished but this is my background for my little insert and then this is the stuff that I'm using for um, my goblet so the two little teeny tiny pieces and our rectangles we are going to snowball one corner of each but we need them facing they need to be on opposite corners uh, I'll bend you down here so you can see what I'm talking about All right, so when we snowball this, you know, this one's going to be going, these are teeny tiny, but my fat fingers, <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work out, we'll see. So that one's going to go that way, and then this one will fold up and go this way. That way they're coming together like that, okay? Not on the same corners, they need to kind of come together, so yeah, let's, uh, like I said, this ought to be fun for me. I think my fingers don't work like I want them to work. And why I always, you know, I kind of stayed away from little tiny, tiny pieces. But we're going to give her a go. Here we go. All right. And I'll put that one on there. And line it up. Now, you can mark the line on there. I didn't, just simply because it's such a small little piece, you know. I figured I could eyeball it and get across there. So, so I'm going to roll these back and make sure that they, you want to make sure that they meet up on the edges right here. If they don't and it's way over or way under, you need to pull it off and redo it. That way, um, when you cut the back off of here, you still have the same size rectangle. So I'm going to press these right quick. All right, so I trimmed it down to a quarter inch seam. We're just going to set these aside. So now we're going to need three of our background um, triangles. And one, let's see here. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, one of our other triangles that is the same color as the goblet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch this on all four sides. Um, like so all right so it's basically going to give you a square and a square um, so I would just what I'm gonna do is just fold these in half and make a little crease now these triangles are biased so don't get too crazy with them because they're going to stretch on you and then I'm just gonna make a crease on this and make a crease on this and then I'm gonna put these two on first and then I'll come in, I'll press those and come in and put those two on. So, all right, so let me make a crease on this one. So I know where it goes and right sides together. You're going to have a little overhang on your triangles. That's totally normal. And so a quarter of an inch. All right, and then on this other side, I'm going to put this other triangle. Now 
I'm just going to finger press these open and I'm just going to mash it down um, and then I'll add these other two to the other sides. There we go. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing, just bringing these two together and make me a little crease and bring these two together. Oof, tiny, tiny. Well, it's not really super tiny, but it is for me. I like I like bigger blocks. I don't know, maybe because it's just easier to work with. Anyway, all right, we're going to sew this one on here. And these should be perfectly centered once you have them all on there. If you do it this way, because you, you've centered everything up. So... Oh, looks like I ran out of bobbin thread. Let me replace my bobbin. Okay, we got bobbin again, so let me finish sewing this seam here. All right, now then, we can put this other one on. So, okay, I've got the crease on that. And the crease on this. So then this is what your square in a square should look like. All right. So it should look just like that. And I know we're going to square this up. Let me um, get you get over here to the ironing board and get this all pressed out. All right. So I'm just going to give this a good press. And we're going to have to trim this. It didn't have it on the instructions, but it's going to be four and a half. Because when we add the triangle next to it, four and a half and two and a half is going to make six and a half, which is our unfinished. So um, I'm just going to bring this up here. And I have this ruler is uh, four and a half. So I'm just going to straighten up. Basically get rid of the dog ears and just, if you have any wonky sides, that's just, just going to straighten them up a little bit. All right. Clean that up a little bit. There we go. I didn't have to trim off very much at all, so it must have been pretty much right on. Cool. So there's what your little square should look like. So the next pieces that we're going to put together are the two remaining um, triangles, and we're just going to make a half square triangle unit out of those. So you're just going to put them together right sides together and then stitch down the long edge there and don't stretch or pull them because they are going to be very stretchy okay and this looks like it's going to be a two and a half inch it is it's going to be a two and a half inch um, half square triangle I'm just going to measure right quick and make sure. Um, yep, mine's two and a half by two and a half. So I'm just going to trim off these little dog ears here. Yay, okay, we're about ready to put our block together already. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so easy enough to put our block together. Um, this little rectangle with the snowball is going to go here. And this one is going to go on this side. They don't want to stay down very good. <laughs> and then our half square triangle is going to go with the color to the inside. Just like. Well, it's supposed to be just like that. Anyway, does it look like a goblet? Kind of. I'm not, I think that these sticking out here will get caught in the seam. So that'll, it'll, it'll tighten it up. You'll see. I see how it's going to go together. So I'm just going to bring you over here. And what I'm going to do is just lay it out right here. Like so. Alright. And just sew this piece to this piece and this piece to this piece. So I'll start with these bottom ones. So basically it's just a four patch at this point. Okay. 
probably press that seam to that side. All right, and then this one. Yeah, I was kind of worried because these were sticking out right here, but that's going to be, that's your seam allowance. So, because I was like, maybe I did it wrong. It didn't look like the pictures. <laughs> I didn't do it wrong. That's, that's going to get caught up. So, we're in good shape. I do know, though, with littler pieces, you know, you need to really make sure you're pretty accurate because any bobbles or beebs, it's going to, it's going to show. So... All right, so I got that one on there. So I got I got this seam pressed that way. So this one I'm gonna press this way, and just finger press it. And then all we gotta do is put this together, and our little insert block will be done. Yay! This is a cute one. I like this. I've never made one of these before. First time. Okay. Nest all that. My triangle's wanting to get a little long on me there. I can, I can trim her up. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, turned out really good. Now it looks like a goblet. <laughs> yeah, see all these? Uh, that was caught perfectly caught in your seam, and it turned out perfectly so let me press this and then we're gonna add our star points to it and go ahead and finish the block now this block should measure six and a half by six and a half um, I see I've got just one little long piece right there I'm just gonna trim that down and I did not bring my six and a half inch ruler over here but that's okay so you can set your goblet in your, once you put your your star points on here you can set it facing whichever way you want if you want it to go that way or that way, whichever way. Um, so I'm just gonna lay this out and then I'll bring it all up here and we get it all stitched together. So I'm gonna stitch on my side points first, all right? And then we'll stitch on, it'll just be the rows at that point then. So. one these are going to be really fast I can't believe it took me longer to probably figure out which fabrics I was going to use and cut them out than it did to actually make the block can you imagine doing a whole quilt with 6 inch blocks I've seen people do it and my hats are off to them of course I say that and I made a quilt not long ago with 768 half square triangles so yeah Who's the glutton for punishment there, right? <laughs> it wasn't me. Um, so I'm going to push these to the inside because that way there'll be less bulk on that star point because there's no, it doesn't meet up with anything right there. And then on this one, I'm going to do the same thing. So that'll reduce our... We won't have no big bulky seam right there. All right. And then we're just going to add the bottom ones on. And we'll be good to go. I only made up about, I think I made up about four blocks worth of star points. I thought, you know, if I kind of just got, stayed a little bit ahead, then I could just grab them as I was going. So hopefully. Hopefully you guys did too. If not, you could just do it as you go and just, you know, as you make your block. No big deal. But we were thinking, you know, if you, you wanted to get ahead, you could because everything's going to be, you know, the only thing. They're all going to be the same. The only thing different is going to be your center block. So, all right. there. Yay! Okie 
Pokey. Hold on. Oh, so cute. So cute. So cute. So cute. That is adorable. Let me press this. This quill is going to turn out. <laughs> Y'all, we're going to have so much fun with this. Let me kind of get things going here where I want them to go on the back. And uh, no, I want those going that way. That way when I flip it over, because I don't want these, uh, I want these all going to the inside because I don't want no big. I've been doing this a lot. It seems like I can just, it's easier to just get it started and have it kind of where you want. And then flip her over. I'm going to throw a little starch on it. And... Give it a really good press and get it nice and flat. And then your block should measure 12 and a half unfinished, 12 inch finished, however you like to say it. And that's it. It's done. How cute is that? That is adorable. Oh my goodness, that is so, that goblet, I seen that when Peggy sent that to me and I thought, oh my gosh, that is so cute. <laughs> so yeah, so mm -hmm. perfect. I love that. And then the background fabric, I had some scraps of this. I love this fabric. And I like using these kind of prints and backgrounds, especially when the blue complements the main piece. So yeah, um, so yeah, there's our block. Okay. All right, well, um, probably somewhere around 1st of February, we'll get started on our next set of two sets of blocks. Because, um, uh, yeah, I the rest of the month for me is going to be super busy. So, okay. Have a great day, guys.